Hi Gemini, getting ready to do your week weekly reading, sorry, from the 9th to the 13th of December. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Just want to see what's happening with that light there. I don't know why it keeps changing itself, but I hope that it stays there. All right, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I will be giving away a free personal reading between the 20th and the end of the year. Um, so you'll need to hit the notification button so you don't miss the details. Uh, and also there's bonus readings between now and the end of the year for the signs that are engaging with the channel the most. So the most likes, um, most comments, all that sort of stuff. Let's get started for your weekly love messages. So Gemini, weekly love messages, please. Weekly love messages for Gemini. There we go. Okay. So you've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles in the upright. Definitely struggling to connect with you guys today for some reason. It might mean that you have messy heads at the moment. I think for some of you, someone's coming in with an apology. Um, I don't think the apology is going to be accepted, though. Or if it's accepted, it's kind of like, that's fine. And then there's no more. <laughs> it's like not a proper, they're not really accepting it. Okay, that was interesting. I'm going to take those just because of how they came out there. Okay. Wow. Ten of Cups clarified by the Ace of Cup Cups. Mm. Um, I, mean, I want to clarify this too because it, someone feels very bad about not accepting this apology. Um, it's like they're not doing it on principle but then behind the scenes they can't stop thinking about it and wondering should I have accepted it? Would, you know, would things have really been different? And over here, yeah. maybe it could have been different because you've got Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups together, which is very rare. All right, let's get some more information. What's the Nine of Wands, please? So this is a situation that just brought you to your knees. You were in the end just so tired of it, so exhausted from it, sick of the just constant drama from it to you just couldn't take it anymore and the in and outness someone was in and out of the connection making promises saying one thing doing another thing just really non-committal yeah and you decided you know what there's no more for me here there's nothing else that this person can offer me there's no new opportunity here i there's yeah and the second you've moved away this apology, here in comes the apology, in comes the offer, the oh no, don't leave me offer. I it wasn't serious offer. Um, can I have more on the page of pentacles, please? Page of pentacles. Oh, we're taking two. There you go. So this person really does have a lot of love for you. And they do see you as an empress. They um they for the for the women they want you to be the mother of their children for the men they want you to be the father of their children like they actually do have a very deep um not connection but that they envisage a future with you and they do want that i don't know what was stopping them in the past and that's kind of what's happening here i think they've had this realization that oh my god i need to make this real i can't just come in with my cup like i was before i need to have a pentacle in my hand or there's no it's no deal but i think that you're just so over it that this three of pentacles you're turning them down here you're not interested in being a team you're not interested in working with them okay three of pentacles in reverse please Yeah. 
could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. More on that, please. But you're thinking, you're like, how is this actually going to be different? You're, you've reflected. You've almost probably done some healing as well. And you don't want to reopen those wounds. You're like, I got past this and you really hurt me. And there's a chance that if I have to do this again, yeah, that's it. Like I cut away what did not serve me. Um, and it wasn't fair what you did. It was totally not fair. Some of you may have gone through uh, some sort of legal separation or there may have been legal proceedings involved somehow um, that may not have gone in your favour or may have um, cost you money or do you know what I mean? Like just overall just weren't good for you. Not that they're ever good for anyone, but you know, you didn't. So you're definitely at a crossroads thinking, well, over here in, in um, but the good thing is the hermit's in the upright, he's not in reverse. So he's thinking and reflecting sensibly. Um, but then you're over here too in this eight of swords, this mind trap. Let's get some more on that. Let's see eight of swords, please. I'm hoping to move in the new year, so it will hopefully be quieter. Uh, Eight of Swords, please. Thank you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I can see exactly what's happening. One more, please. Okay, I think when this apology comes in though, see all this stuff's happening afterwards, this like consideration, the hermit card, all that sort of stuff. And I do, I am picking this hermit card up as more of, I've already healed from this. I don't want to open it up again. So for some of you, I think there's when this apology comes in, it's going to be a case of a knee-jerk reaction where you don't even hear what they've got to say. You're like, nope, nope, all the nopes. No, don't come here. Don't talk to me. I'm not interested. And that's what's actually got you going, ah, was I a little bit too hasty with the uh, hangman in reverse there? Should I have given them more of a chance? Six of Pentacles. Should I have offered them more? Should I have been a little bit more understanding and generous? my time um that's what's got you stuck and wondering i want to know more about this because it's interesting that this ten of cups and the ace of cups has come out here and i think there is actually a possibility for something to come of this gemini um i hate saying it and i'm but i am glad to say it as well I wonder whether this person actually has really changed. Um, there is definitely the possibility is it's a pathway. The, the pathway is there to be tested. Anything else you can give us about the Ten of Cups? Ace of Cups, please. Let me just move all this. I've gone too far the wrong side. <clears throat> so you can see what's happening. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Anything we want to know about the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, please. Whew. Okay. So there's going to be stuff that comes out. I actually think that they're going to be a whole lot more honest. Like they're going to confess their sins. And I know that this is a deception coming out card, but I think that that's in a bid to, to actually make it so that you guys can um, clear all of the air. And there's, there's no secrets anymore. I feel like all the secrets are coming out. And that's absolutely clearing the path for this Ten of Pent uh, ten of Cups, Ace of Cups as well. Oh, I'm shuffling the wrong way. All right, let's do your thoughts and feelings, Gemini. Oh, yes, Gemini. God, I forgot what sign I was doing. Sorry. Woo! Four of Wands. Okay, so you... Look, there's no sense in lying about it. 
and this won't be for everyone, but for those who it resonates with, ask yourself honestly, you absolutely have an amazing connection with this person. You might hate them to the end of the earth right now. That's cool. Been there, done that. It doesn't take away the energy exchange that's happened between you two. So be real with yourself if that's how you're thinking, feeling, and especially if they're coming back with apologies, that's got you thinking even more. That's normal. But you're also done with crying about the past. So you are reluctant to open that up again. Let's talk about their thoughts and feelings, please. What are their thoughts and feelings? They know they made a big mistake. Got the judgment in reverse. They know they have effed up badly. Which could be why this is all... Ooh, I feel so stressed for you, Gemini. Yeah, they they know who, that they blew something really good here. And they actually think right now that you're never going to give them another chance, that this relationship is cooked. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Most likely outcome, please, with Gemini. This week, most likely outcome this week for Gemini, please. Okay. Well, you won't be confused by the end of the week, so that's good news. <sighs> that's way too many cards. Sorry. It's a whole big chunk. But interesting that the it was the communication card that came out. Okay. Interesting. So there's going to be some working. Some, yeah. There, this person, I think that you're going to open the door a little crack and this person's just going to come storming in and doing the, I don't care what I have to do, I'll do anything to make it right. He's sweeping you off your feet, doing anything he can to make things good with you in that, um, in that uh, Knight of Swords, sorry, because... He knows he's got to be smart about this this night. He's got to be clever about it. So he's the ideas man. He's thinking up all the different ways to woo you, to get in your mind, to try and get your forgiveness, to convince you that he's worth another shot. So he's all about the strategy, this one. One more, please. <clears throat> Gosh. There it is. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. The, I'm saying wow because that was the card I just almost pulled out and then it flew out of the deck on its own. So this is reconciliation card. I know that there's going to be a lot of people in the comments disagreeing with this. That's fine. It might not be your story. There's no need to come at me aggressively. I'm not the person that has, you know, been in control of your situation or whatever. And I do feel sorry if you're very hurt by it. Um, but I'm just telling you what's here. So if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. It is a general reading. It won't resonate with any, everyone. But for some of you, reconciliation is on the cards. Even if you think right now, I'm never going to accept their apology, I think they're going to work really hard to get you back. That's what I'm saying. Like this Knight of Wands, he is stopping at nothing to get back to you like he is racing back to you and doing everything he can to basically come up with a strategy to win your heart again so i don't know that's just what's there okay and thousands of people see these readings too so if it's not for you that's fine um all right let's get the advice please advice from spirit advice for gemini please People do, I love your comments, don't get me wrong, I love them, but people do tend to get a little bit passionate towards me, <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, I'm just the reader, but there's always more positive comments than negative ones, so that's good, and I don't think that people are commenting and meaning to be negative, they're just hurting, so I get that too, don't get me wrong. Okay, so, <laughs> I, I can't make this up here, like... Oh dear. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, okay. One more, please. Okay, interesting. All right, there's definitely still some stuff to get through. Um, you do have the Devil card here and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So this could be quite a codependent relationship. Um, and that's why it's cycling through. It's not done yet, though, with the fall in reverse. So, yes, there are definitely um, toxic energies, maybe addictive things going on in the relationship. I almost feel like... Mm, but there's no advice. I think it's just, yeah, it's just sort of saying be aware of them. I don't want to I don't want to say it Gemini but I feel like some of this is your stuff that you're dealing with about your unhappiness and I don't know why I'm sensing that so apologies if it's not for you but I'm sensing that this is spirit saying you need to look at your own shit basically and why you're not happy because that's part of the problem here is what I'm getting and I don't know why I'm sorry um, if that's not you it will be for someone out there. Um, but it's also here saying, hey, this isn't done yet. So put put that other pentacle down. You're not really juggling. It's not ready for in, like a full new start yet to move on. You've got stuff still to do here kind of thing. <laughs> so don't get excited. Put the pentacles on. It's like, like they're saying to me, stop playing around now. Okay, just put them on the ground and get working. Get your shit sorted. Like that's kind of what it's saying here in the next sentence. You need to sort out your shit, so just get it sorted. Um, <laughs> sorry, Gemini, that's just what I get. Oh, it's so hard sometimes. All right, let's go with the Romance Angels, please, for Gemini. Romance Angels for my Gemini people. For my Gemmies. I learned to drive in a Gemini car, so Geminis have a special place in my heart. Keep an open mind. Again, that's here. That's what's happening here. It's like keep that open mind. You need to not just chop this person off um, out of fear. No doubt that they hurt you. No doubt that they were being a complete, I want to say, dick. Um, but for some reason, you're not done yet. And spirit saying you need to keep an open mind and not just jump in with a big nope, 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 no apologies, nothing, which is what we saw. Okay, Gemini, that's what I've got for you for this week. Whew. Um, don't forget all that stuff at the beginning about liking, subscribing and hitting the notification button so that you keep up with all the stuff that's happening. It's such a long reading. It's 18 minutes. Goodness, I won't keep you long. Um, have a great week and I'll see you for the weekends. Bye.